Russia has a huge how to get to the Atlantic problem. Going through the Baltic Sea, it faces one NATO member after another, ready to put an end to any plans Putin might have. The other route involves going through the Mediterranean, with another NATO member, Turkey, gatekeeping the Bosphorus Strait. There is, however, a third option. Today, we talk about Russia's plans for its very own Panama Canal in Iran. Plans to connect the Caspian Sea with the Persian Gulf have existed in some form or another over the past few centuries. The most recent and ambitious one, however, wasn't proposed until 1966 when Iran conducted a study on the feasibility of such a project. At that time, the Caspian Sea in its entirety was divided between the USSR and the pro-West Iran, and so the project was shelved, as there wasn't much trade potential between the two countries. Things are different today, however. Driven to isolation by Western sanctions, Iran and Russia's relationship has taken off in recent years. In 2016, Iran formally offered this project to Russia, stating a cost of $10 billion. The canal would either be placed here or here. On paper, this looks like a win-win situation for both the countries. Russia gets to have access to the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean without going through any NATO members' waters. And Iran gets to profit off of any transit trade going through the canal, which would not only include Russia's trade with Asia and East Africa, but also countries like Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan and Azerbaijan, all landlocked countries that would now be connected to the high seas because of the canal. Looking at some of the details though, one begins to understand why this project is doomed to forever be in the planning stage. For one, neither Russia nor Iran have the technical resources to construct either of the canals. Iran is a very mountainous country. Digging up a 1,000-kilometer canal there is no easy task. Then arises the issue of water level differences. Caspian Sea is located 30 meters below sea level, so you can't just dig up a trench here and expect things to stay the same. Water would rush in from the Persian Gulf and fill in the Caspian Depression, completely submerging low-lying cities like Baku. A way to solve all this would be to use a system of locking reservoirs that gradually lower the ships from the height of the Persian Gulf to the Caspian Sea. This region is tectonically active, and if an earthquake struck, it could destroy this lock system and instantly flood the Caspian Depression. Furthermore, the feasibility study largely ignored the ecological impact of such a canal. Both the canals go through incredibly hot and dry terrain, and so the canal would face issues like the water simply evaporating away. Ill-conceived plans by Russia, very much like this one, have already destroyed the Aral Sea. And so, this pipe dream is destined to stay just that, a pipe dream. For more videos just like this one, subscribe to the channel.